um, excuse my appearance. I'm a little bit sad because my sister currently has a cerebrospinal venal, venous thrombosis from an indiscriminate cause. But anyway, I have a spinoff for that sci-fi novel that I was talking about the other day with the international drug mafia. So I want to explain to you the technology for this hypothetical sci-fi novel that's based in complete fiction. So anyway, there was this cutting edge technology where they ground carbon down to monoatomic level. Okay. Remember this is fiction, but let's just go with this. This is, this is imaginary. Okay. Well, monoatomic, like monoatomic gold or monoatomic silver, those have medicinal values, but this monoatomic carbon, they could arrange in all these different ways. They could make it in these rings, which is benzene and they can make it in tubes and they can make balls called buckyballs and fullerene, all these things. Anyway, that's based on some real life stuff, but we're still talking hypothetical. So anyway, in this hypothetical sci-fi novel, they realized um, about 15 years after this thing was discovered that it was super conductive and this super conductive, they could make a chip that instead of having these like regular transistors, it could have billions of these individual little carbons and each one was like a little transistor. And instead of having like lines, it was just like a chip. It was really, really crazy. And then they started using this stuff for other technology, like a magnetic RNA pull-down technique in this sci-fi novel that's based in fiction. And so what they would do is they would take this mag ferromagnetized monoatomic carbon and it would attract the genetic sequences for the genetic therapies that they were using. Remember the genetic thing with the whole batshit crazy virus that I was talking about in my hypothetical sci-fi novel? So anyway, this magnetic RNA pull-down technique to extract the sequence for the batshit crazy virus they would use it. But like when my husband and I were in organic chemistry making A's in real life, we made aspirin. And so when we made aspirin, we could run it through a mass spectrometry afterward. And then we could see these little peaks and troughs and we could see all the contaminants from the solvents that we used in the processing of the aspirin. So it's not on the ingredients, but oftentimes, I don't know if you know, when you're using pharmaceuticals, you're consuming solvents. So back to the artificial, completely fake sci-fi novel. So in this novel, they're doing this RNA pull down but they're not checking for microscopic little tiny ferromagnetized carbons. And so when they put this genetic batshit crazy sequence in these vials, some people don't get these contaminants because they settle. And because they're magnetic, they attract to each other. So when it's not stored properly, they can actually form these little weird black things that in the hypothetical sci-fi novel, Japan found and wouldn't use these drugs. So Japan's really cool. And they're also known for being really smart. But anyway... So hypothetically in this novel, fictionally, I mean, these contaminants with the unlucky ones would get injected and cause horrible side effects like CSVT or DVT or heart attack or stroke 